Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jay. I'm Ben. And I'm DK. And I'm Dorton. And welcome <laughs> to another exciting episode of the Chudley Cannons Rocket League Challenge, where we're doing something a little special today. We're going to kick things off with a sponsor read. Whoa. This is a very special sponsor read. You will see why. Ben, would you like to do the honors? Absolutely. Today's sponsor is... Connor, oh. and he wants to ask one of you lovely young ladies to prom, Are you but who that? is it going to be? I'm so excited because like, someone's actually asking someone to prom on the channel. I know, I it's know. amazing, it's our dream come true, and maybe yours. Maybe yours too. Connor, I am so, just so proud of you. Who Now, I'm wondering if people watching, how like nervous is someone in the classroom right now that it's about to be their name said out loud? Oh yeah, yeah, because it, to, yeah. to the best of our understanding, this episode is being played in front of people. In front of people. One of you in this room is about to be asked to prom. That's right. Via Super Carlin Gaming Rocket League episode. <laughs> that's right, that's right. It will be seen by the thousands of people who watch this channel. Are you ready? Yes, let's All go. right, Connor would like to ask Zinnia to prom. Zinnia? Whoa! Zinnia, what do you say? Has she said yes yet? Has it happened? Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Are they cheering? Hopefully. We should cheer too. Oh! Way to go, guys! We're so excited for you! Oh my god. Well, hopefully uh, that went well. Yeah, hopefully that went well and there aren't just a bunch of embarrassed children in a room. <laughs> <laughs> but we are so proud of you guys and thank you for letting one of our dreams come true of being involved with your prom proposal. Oh, amazing. Amazing. You know I invented the prom proposal. Yes, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm, I'm aware you believe you invented the prom proposal. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let's play some Rocket League. Let's play some Rocket League. I hope every, maybe everyone will stick around and watch the whole show now. Maybe, maybe. Hey, you should yeah. subscribe if you're, you know, still here. Captivated <laughs> viewers Captivated. who are now. Pull out your phones in school right now. Yes, subscribe yes. to Super Carlin Gaming. But you know, Connor beat you to the punch in terms of the promposal via this. Although, ben, you want it? You want as it? I understand oh. it, prom is far away, so there's time. There's plenty of time. You Fudge could arrange pops. something like this too. You could, you could. We'd be happy to help. Oh, do you guys oh, have any? No. No. Do you have any prom advice? Go. Oh man, oh, uh, I do think be, go. Try and be friends with the people, with the, whoever you're going. Like, don't just ask someone because like you think they're cute. Hopefully Connor didn't do that. Didn't, didn't you do that? Yeah, Jay? that's why I'm saying don't do it. <laughs> Aren't I you married to your prom date? No, no, different. That was my that was my that was my junior prom. My actual prom, I was I, uh, I, I I was already I didn't know that already. Ah, so, that is yeah, fair. That was better. <laughs> yeah. My, my recommendation from a a dress wearing person's perspective, mm -hmm. um, because you don't want your date to see you dressed in advance, but you definitely want them to be able to match. I would take my dress to the hardware store and get a paint chip that matched the color of my dress. Get the, get the Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is such no, a no, thing. No, 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 I don't recommend this at all. No, what you want to do is just have the color of the dress and then go with your date to the like men's store where they're renting it from and just like help pick out the correct color because you know what it is. And well, then that's, that's a fun too. day. That, that is a fun that day. Super that fun is a fun. Yeah, it's like, that's, that's way better than a paint chip. Well, <laughs> then, then the girl getting to like be involved with yeah. the selection of talks is kind of like a neat little yeah, experience. Like, I like this. Yeah. I like this. That's actually one of those things. I'm gonna have two bits of advice. Uh, Alice, who owns um, a, a tuxedo rental company or aspect of her bridal shop, uh, says that she loves it when guys come in without their moms. <laughs> <laughs> and it is it is such a thing. And I would when say. They come in, without their moms. <laughs> she says it's like a 60-40 split where 60% of the guys come in with their moms and the other 40 usually come in with money that they've earned from their part-time job and they pick out everything and they're always no. so much more cautious but it's much more adorable. Do you, okay, wait, does no one go with their dad? I, I actually think she says more girls come with their dad no kidding. Um, to buy the dress than guys come with their dad. This to me seemed like such a good like father-son moment in, my, does, like, in my life. Does. Like his dad went with like me to go do this stuff. Oh, he didn't go with me. No uh, one went with me. No one went with you? You went by yourself? I went by myself. Oh man. Which is dad. why Alice likes you. I went with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I 100% I plan on doing this with Luke. It, it seemed yeah, like a like, like a, okay, like this is when you need to teach him how to like, you know, dress well. Like 
some of those things oh, that, because there's not always that many occasions for kids to be dressed up. Yeah. Right, no, right, right, right. Like, no, you know, sure. you want to learn from someone who knows, not someone who's been around people who wore suits, but people who did wear suits. That is true. And, well, our dad has a lot of suits. He does, yeah. He's, like a, known he's a TV news anchor. So. My, my other bit of prom advice would be to, if you're dating somebody, go with them and not someone else. Ah, yeah. Which is something yeah, that happened to, to me. Prom, go to prom with your prom date? Go, go to prom with your girlfriend, oh, not right. with the other person. Mm, definitely um, don't go with the girl you're dating's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. That, that was homecoming. Yeah. Uh, this was this was another just tragic situation that happened to me in my school dance history. But um, I had been talking to a girl for quite some time in, like, early spring, and obviously it was sort of teeing up to prom oh, time. Oh, crap. That's going towards gold. Jeez. Yeah, man. That was that fast. Was... That, I don't even know where that came from. <clears throat> um, I was just, I was going for a shot myself, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere... Boom. Yeah, no, I had I had been uh, talking to a girl, though. She went to a different school, and she was a year younger than me, and she was a sophomore when I was a junior. Um, and so her mom was not super keen on her going. So I had asked her before we were dating, uh, and she said that she wasn't able to go. So then I ended up with a different date, and then we started dating in between that period of time, and... The other girl had already bought her dress and all of the arrangements had been made and that was the end of it. So I ended up going with someone other than my girlfriend to prom. Always so complicated. That, yep. <laughs> That's awkward. That's the worst. Oh my gosh. Yeah, was, I'm uh, only laughing because it didn't happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure now you think it's funny, but like at the time, uh, that's just horrifying. Oh yeah, no, it was, yeah. it was really rough. It was like not a, not a fantastic start uh, to that relationship. Yeah. See, I, I don't think I have any horror stories, but certainly nothing great. It was just like, it was a dance, and we ate good food. Oh, good nice defense. Safe, nice save. Thanks, thanks. Clear, good clear. Well, thank you so much for all of the prom advice. Uh, I actually have a question here from Bronwyn. Bronwyn? Bronwyn? Bronwyn. 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 Is she from Miss Peregrine's House of Children? Is, uh, House of Peculiar Dome? That's the only time I've that. heard the name Bronwyn was in that book. <laughs> is Bronwyn a... Dearest Bronwyn. Bronwyn oh, okay. is the really strong girl. Oh. Bronwyn? Oh, re- <laughs> As her name would suggest being like brawny. Hmm, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, Bronwyn here asks, I am so annoyed with my brother. Anything he does annoys me, and since uh. he's older, he thinks that he's better than me. I want to be nice to him. That's how older brothers work. But his attitude towards me makes it very hard, and I always get in trouble when he starts a fight. How do I prevent this? Oh, boy. Oh, man. I think a huge portion of it is don't lean into the fight. Yeah. Like, if you just decide, like, you know what? If they're trying to engage, then uh, you just can't fall for it. You have to find yourself, like, being the better oh. person. Way to go, guys. Boom, boom. Um, boom, boom, boom. You're on a Speaking of, our antennas say the word boom now. They which do. Which makes me so happy. It's but okay. Derek's, Derek I'm, doesn't have it. His is the boot. I don't even have <laughs> But definitely not a pirate hat. So we so. are boom, boom, bouton. We are not pirates. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Oh my goodness. That's great. Oh, wow, they totally just whiffed. Shoo. The old whiff and whiff. The old whiff and whiff. whiff, and whiff. That could go, that could go. go. No, oh, I'm trying to get didn't. there. Didn't. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> okay. For fun. <laughs> For funsies. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a second. No, man, oh, and the Chudley Cannons have won again, which is a good time to bring up the fact that as of now, we have brand new Chudley Cannons posters, you guys, available for sale at supercarlinbrothers.store. Look at them on the screen right now. Aren't they glorious? Look at how not pirates they are. They're just so They're not so pirates. They're so not pirates. The I... ship is boom, boom, booming. I love how these turned out. Like... The uh, the masks yeah. are the Quidditch rings, yeah, those which are like is Quidditch hoops. Amazing! They are so great. Oh man, so many little details that we were able to incorporate into these posters that we like. We had we had somebody make them awesome, but we yes. did get to design like all yeah. of the elements of it. No doubt. So cool, so fun, and we have I believe a limited supply of signed posters. We do. Yeah. Interested in getting if one of those? You act fast. Ben and I have signed uh, yeah a limited number of them, and you can purchase those again available at supercarlinbrothers.store Woo! Speaking of booming, looks like we're about to play the boomers. The boomers. The bombers. Oh! 
Oh dear. First we played the other pirate ship, and now we're playing the bombers. So boomers. The boomers. The, the, boomers. Bo the boomers. Is the that what we're gonna call yeah, them? Yeah, we're gonna call the them boomers. the boomers okay. from now on. Yeah, Here if we, we, if we remember. We Make have almost remember. given backstories, I think, to every team. Um, the single <laughs> I can't help but notice that I the think, Skyhawks are five and ten. We literally have, yeah. The Sky. Oh, Ooh, we'll look at that. Oh, oh, Sky way down there. Five and nice. ten. Sky Corp's new purchase is not working out for them. This is why Serves you should support right. small businesses and not be bought out by a giant corporation. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's okay. The Chudley Cannons are showing them what's up. Let's go. Taking on the Boomers. At the old Utopia Coliseum. Yeah. Where I always feel like I'm just going to scuff up their grass. You know, it's like it's so perfect. It is pretty nice. They like really they... Like, spend some time on it. Yeah, there's, there's like a nice hedges. checker pattern. Yeah. It'd be, wouldn't it be odd if like the hedges made a difference in the driving? Just would, ever so I subtly. Hate <laughs> I would hate it, yeah. It'd be like, why are these, why, there's like a thousand speed bumps on this level. Oh man, I don't know. There is, one of my favorite pinball machines of all time is called uh, Fireball. And Fireball! it has this rotating disc, literally yeah. in the middle oh, of it. A rubber yeah. rotating disc. And it just can completely screw up everything. Ooh, like yeah. it's this total wild card, but it's so fun trying to figure out how to like deal with it. So if you guys have like a pinball place anywhere near you, I recommend going and checking out uh, Fireball. Fireball. It is so fun. Super fun. I actually, I, there was a like a downtown Roanoke, um, like young professionals, like, uh, you know, meet and drink kind mm -hmm. of situation going on at the pinball museum here once upon a time. And it turns out that the little prize they had going was to see who could get the high score on Fireball that night. And just because it happens to be your favorite game, I had played it a lot. And so I won. <laughs> no way! I don't know how I didn't know this story. Oh yeah, I was pretty happy about that. I was like, well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I am good at Fireball. This was worth coming to after all. <laughs> Otherwise, it was not. If what? I could Twitch stream me playing Fireball, that's what I would do. I think you probably can. I don't see. I mean, we probably need to get the actual pinball machine. They're gonna that's score. not great. Yep. Yeah. Whenever they score like that, I feel like it's always just a random launch downfield, and it's just. It's it always because to be on goal. It, what what happens is like we are constantly <laughs> that's that right like bo like okay. ricocheting it off their back wall, and so it's already like going quickly in the other direction, and then no, they just have to give it a little extra mustard. Yeah. So we just have to be more accurate, basically. Jordan, do we have another question? We do, and I was in the theme of siblings because the last one was about siblings. So no. this is from the opposite direction. Rather than having an annoying older sibling, the intelligent supervillain has what? an older sister who is suffering from Oh, their anxiety. name is the Intelligent Supervillain. Yep, That's that is I what understand. their username is. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yep, um, so she says, my older sister is suffering from anxiety, depression, intrusive thoughts, and oh. other mental health issues. They're having an awful time of it, and I'm trying to help, but I don't know what to do. Do you have any suggestions as to what I can do to help, or any suggestions as to what they can do to help themselves? Ooh, Boy. man. That Heavy is a really question. interesting Heavy like, question on this you know, promposal episode. I, I know that this is uh, maybe oh. just a, a, a smidgen um, oh, no. uh, self promote but I, I would say that our Discord, uh, through either Super Carlin Gaming or uh, Super Carlin Brothers, um, has been a really good platform for people that are having a hard time like meeting friends because it's such a welcoming community of people. Mm -hmm. uh, and being online sort of offers a little bit of like a barrier between yourself and like the actual fear of that interaction. Indeed. Um, so I, you know, a lot of these people have like gone on to be friends. Jordan, I know like last year during a hurricane, you went and stayed with one of the people from the Discord. Right? Yep, I yeah. did. Hashtag re results may vary, but. Um, <laughs> You know, I think, uh, I think it's that... It's gonna go! That, <laughs> that, is, am, I, am I properly answering the question? I feel like this could this could be, like, a potential opportunity to sort of overcome some of the challenges associated. I mean, that, that's certainly one way uh, to approach it. It's just any kind of community that you can get involved with. Right. Um, if you have any, like, particular interests or hobbies. Y'all can do um, it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, you can definitely try to shoot for it, you know? Uh, okay. Maybe you should try to shoot for that. <laughs> I really thought that was gonna hit her. Yeah, just uh, oh. losing sort of the feelings of isolation though can absolutely help whether it's an online community or an in-person community or just spending time with your sibling, which sounds really silly, but can very much help just making them feel not alone. So Ben, I think you absolutely were nice. answering that very there well. Is. And that was a beautiful shot. Okay, I gave it a little boop. I was like, I can, I think I can take it all the way. Yeah. Can I pop it again? Woohoo! 
Yeah. I think it's actually one of the coolest things about online communities, though, is how much uh, potential that otherwise never would have been unlocked was unlocked by people feeling included by the community that right. they're in. It's just like, there's a lot of people out there that, that maybe never would have put themselves out there, but because they were in a, a like-minded area, yeah. you know, um, all of a sudden woo! it's possible. Woo -hoo! That was nice. up oh, in the air nice. shot. Uh, um, was it really? You get some... Uh, I got some... I got some, hits. some... Oh my god. Some... Let it happen. Up. Nice. Some up. Woo! Boom. Um, encouraging your sibling to uh, seek professional help is also something you can do. That's true. Um, it can be very, very hard and intimidating to want to do so. And there is a bit of a stigma around it still, even though I wish there wasn't. Uh, and I think... Ooh, that was good! <laughs> what uh, I just like, I waved it back and then everything was sitting here and I was like, this looks like the old ace. Nice! <laughs> the old ace. <laughs> Way to go, yeah. And great. also maybe encouraging your sibling to talk to your parents about it. Um, yeah, that, or I mean, being present if and when they do. Sure, sure, sure. Just as for like comfort factor, because it, it, that's it can be hard to talk to your parents about it, and depending on how, like you know the relationship you have with your parents. Uh, <laughs> no. Wow, we were scoring like All four goals in the like thirty seconds. I love it. This is my favorite kind of way to score goals. Impressive, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. They just had no idea. Casper. Oh. A little skitter bounce there. Mm -hmm. Do we have any more questions? Jordan? Oh yeah, sure. I think we answered that one quite well. Three. See you um, in the Discord. <laughs> we hope so. Um, so this is a question nice. that I think you guys answered on one of the oh. lost episodes, um, but it from Adavi saying, I need help helping my father. He has a problem looking at his phone when driving. Oh, oh yeah. Even if, it's an, even if it's an empty road, it still makes me really nervous. And whenever he's driving me around, nice. I want Got to it. make sure that he doesn't use his phone. How do I approach this? Did we, did, okay, so this is one we answered on, on an episode that got Bort. Yes. Bort. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Well, we, we, have, we have seen it I before. If I recall, my response that time remains it. the same. One, uh, steal the phone and just change it, and he won't know what to do because he's your dad, and they don't understand how to change the settings on their phone. Mm -hmm. So all you gotta do is turn on the "Do Not Disturb While Driving" feature, and uh, there you go. This is yeah. This is actually a. It's like a very bizarre thing that came out, but it was like one of those moments where an iPhone update kind of changed my life a little bit. Mm. Um, I, I remember telling the story last time even, but like when I had the aquarium company before. Uh, I was a one-man band, basically, and it meant that like all operations of business happened through my phone while I was on the move, servicing aquariums all day. Um, I think I maybe stole still, that from somebody. That's okay. Um, yeah, I think going yeah. in either way. The point sure is, is we scored. Yeah. yeah, we scored as a team. Um, <laughs> but oh my god, we have really run up the score in this game. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, like we were down, and I was like, oh boy, this is gonna boy, be rough. Yeah, yeah wasn't it two and zero? Oh? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Two the Boomers. And then we blanked them sent. It's like the Packers yeah. versus the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> but will it be like the Packers versus the Vikings? Uh, depends on... Oh, thank you! <laughs> hey! uh, that was uh, great. That, was not, that should not have been a goal. They just bumped it in for me. Yeah, what happened? I just went here. I was going to score for the and cross, just... and then they were like, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oops. Well, I'm sorry. Did you want that to go away? And let me help you. Yeah. No, we popcorned. Um... No, but what I was going to say is, uh, while I was working in the aquarium company, it was like a really common thing to have to just be working off my phone. So, unfortunately, it was like a, uh, kind of just a byproduct of the situation where I shouldn't have been doing it, obviously, but kind of was. Um, but, it, you know, it was interesting, and I think the point we brought up last time we answered this question was that I think a lot of times you can feel like you're being kind of naggy. Uh, in the yeah. process of like bringing up like, hey, don't do that. Yeah. But you are right. <laughs> yeah, that they are the ones who are being uh, irresponsible and annoying by driving, by doing this whilst you are in the car with them. Right. So yeah, it, it can feel like um, you're bothering them, telling them not to do that. Like how uncool are you? But, uh, can we make it 10? Can I tried doing the bicycle kick. Oh, I don't think we're gonna man. get there. Uh, yeah. That's okay, the Chudley oh, Cannon. Destroy the boomers. Yeah. Oh my god, did I get seven goals? That's Holy amazing. cow, that's gotta be a high score. Woo! Rushing it. That was great. 960. Woo! We gotta break a thousand one of these days. We got to, we got to. New goal! New goal! New goal! New goal. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, 
But yeah, the uh, do not disturb function on your phone, very, very helpful. Um, if you can just sneak, sneak change it on your dad, that's one thing. And otherwise, just bother him every time he does it. Just be like, Dad, please don't do that. Uh, and, you know, maybe he'll listen to you, maybe not. Uh, hopefully, hopefully he will, though. But uh, if, it's one of those things where even if they don't listen to you the first time, if you keep saying it over and over, it, it will sink in. And, like, yeah. obviously, they don't want it. They don't want to endanger They're not going to start using their phone more as a result of you right. bothering them about this. Exactly. They might get irritated with you, but... Better it's than worth dying. it. It's, yeah, better than like it's worth it. Yeah. That's... Yeah. So uh, good luck with that. Please give us an update, and uh, I'd love to hear it. And also, I want an update from Connor and Zinya. Yes. Now, yes. Uh, yeah. If uh, if this worked out, I really, really hope it did. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm I'm sure it did. I'm, I'm sure, sure it did. did. Yeah. All the faith, all the faith. So excited. So we need updates for sure. Everybody else, be sure to tune in in the future so we can tell you how it went with them. And don't forget to go check out the new Charlie Cannons posters at supercarlinbrothersstore.com. Supercarlinbrothers.store. Hey, way to go. You <laughs> knew it. Supercarlinbrothers.store. If you say it a few more times, we'll probably get to the point where probably. people people will just go. They're just going to go. It's going to be good. The posters came out so good. But until next time, Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates. <laughs> <laughs>